Brennan, Brennan, Brennan. Brennan TV, ladies and gentlemen, requested that I talk about my theories on as to what is in Rowan's cage. I told him I never heard of it, this angle. The reason why is because it, it just happened yesterday before this upload. So that's why I probably was going to, sooner or later I was going to hear about it. But I, ne I didn't get around to hearing about it yet. That's what I could say. So I was like, I never heard that angle before. So I don't fucking, I don't pay, really pay attention to what's going on with Raw and SmackDown. You know what I mean? I'm AEW, man. Shit. Fuck. So, let me see. Um, I have no fucking idea what could be in the cage. I'm thinking of some type of fucking animal. One person guessed it was a fucking rat or some shit. Fucking weird. Uh, and the best guess that I ran across was that it could be Sister Abigail's soul or something. Because they've been talking about, even since as far back as 2018, they've been talking about Sister Abigail should be a person. You know what I'm saying? She should actually materialize into a being, which I thought was pretty fucking cool, though. They should do that. But that's actually just the name of his special move, Sister Abigail. You know, it's not a person. I guess that witch is Sister Abigail, I think. That's in the fun house or some shit. I don't keep up with it no more. I just don't. Um, yeah, that would be fucking cool, though, if they went with that angle like that. That, that The cage is like her soul and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because they did say the cage was moving. Something is in there. It's not like an inanimate object. So... Um... That's the best angle that I, I... I'll be cool with that. But WWE don't think like that, though. They don't produce anything that's fucking great. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so they ain't gonna go with no angle like this. Sister Abigail sold it. They're gonna make it one day, one night when it's revealed. That he gonna open the cage. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be smoke coming out that motherfucker. And then Sister Abigail... When the smoke clears, you're gonna see a woman standing right in front of me like... like who is this woman? And Roman takes the mic and says, I present to you, Sister Abigail. Be fucking great, man. Um, or somebody, this is kind of lame, but they, they might go this route, WWE. They might. I don't know. Somebody said it. He even said it. Hope's not, hope it's not the case, though. He said uh, it could be Sister Abigail's soul up in there. He could use that against Bray Wyatt to beat him for the for the championship. He could make Bray Wyatt weak and shit, maybe like Undertaker in the urn and shit. Back in the day, Undertaker had to urn. It made him weak and shit. It was like his powers and shit. So they're going to probably do something like that with Bray Wyatt so, so he can beat him. Maybe he's going to fight against Bray Wyatt. I don't know. Something like that. That's more of a possibility than the one I like better with Sister Abigail. Coming out that motherfucker, materializing for the first time in human form. And, you know, it's okay, well, that was just a special move. That's not, not a person, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, the reason why he called that move Sister Abigail is because Sister Abigail is a real being, but she never materialized. She was always with them in matches. She spoke to them. They talked, they had conversations and shit, but she never materialized in human form until now. Or they could make Sister Abigail possess the fucking WWE um, women's. She could possess their bodies and shit and use their bodies to win matches and shit. They would shake like this and then they face would like turn. And he's, you know, super, as Sister Abigail, the spirit of Sister Abigail, the soul rather, um, took over the body of that woman. But I will make her limited to only taking over the bodies of women. That's it, not men. And that'd be fucking cool. It'd be like, a, let's say a women's tag match going on. Sister Abigail takes over the body. The lights will go off. The lights will like blink. It'd be like this eerie, this eerie, not like Bray Wyatt's, not like the Fiends, but something different. You will know it's hard like, doom, doom. It'd be like this eerie music where the lights is blinking. And the, and the light, and one of the divas will shake. I'm not divas. The one of the female talent will shake like this. It could be anybody. It could be a, a face. Or a heel, it doesn't matter. Should take over their body and shake like this. And then they'll fall. 
And then when they get up, it's Sister Abigail. And then after the match is done, like, oh, she pinned one, two, three. And her face is like this. And then the lights will blink again and play the music, little, little do, 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 do. And then she'll shake, fall again. And then she'll come, when she gets, when she comes conscious again, she's back to her normal self. She's like, what the fuck just happened? That was Sister Abigail just took over the body. What is she doing? What is she trying to prove? But they don't do shit like that. That's exciting shit. That equals ratings. Getting asses in the seats. They ain't going to do nothing like that because I told you, Vince McMahon is out of touch. I even heard somebody say that Vince McMahon is not out of touch. What the fuck are you smoking? Yes, he is. <laughs> shit. I bet you that evasion angle wasn't even fucking his idea. I'm going to go as far as to say that. It was Triple H's idea. That's the mastermind, if you ask me. I said it before, I'm going to say it again. If AEW wants real fucking stiff competition, Triple H should take over. Drop that fucking PG rating. Go to TV 14, just like, just like fucking um, AEW has, you know. And bam. You ain't going to know what to fucking watch. You ain't. Straight up. I already hate this Wednesday Night War shit anyway. It's fucking ridiculous. How come they couldn't... How come AEWK come on Tuesdays and Wednesday we got NXT, you know? You got to fucking switch back and forth. Oh, shit. Oh, I mean, oh, you're going to miss something. You got to make... You forced to make a choice. You're going to watch AEW or you're going to watch NXT. It's ridiculous, man. It's like, fuck y'all that say it's a good idea. And it's not. It's fucking not a good idea. You can still be in competition and be on the same fucking day. Shit. Fuck. If they, if they don't, but the, the thing is, if they don't want to watch that say WWE, they're not going to watch it if it's on the second day or if it's on a separate, separate day. So I guess that'll be their fucking counter argument. Oh, whatever. I don't like them. I don't like it. Monday night. I mean, the, the, the same fucking day and shit, you know. But anyways, but yeah, um, I mean, it's, it's just fucked up. If you, Let's say you like both shows. Some people, oddly enough, are a fan of both shows. That's what fucked up on their part. I'm looking out for them because, yes, that's true. Since I prefer AEW over WWE, I'm not going to watch it whether it's on the same time slot or if it's on a different day as, as it is. I'm not going to watch it at all. You know, like I'm not doing now. I'm just watching AEW. But it's like, I'm, think, I'm thinking about it sucks for, for those who actually like WWE and AEW at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not some heartless bastard and say, fuck you. <laughs> you know, it's like you like WWE, you like WWE. That's you. you that's what you like. But, but it's fucked up for you because... You gotta make a choice. You gotta watch half this, half that. It's fucking ridiculous. Because back in the, when the Monday Night Wars was going on in the late nineties, before before, w, before WCW went got their walking papers, I liked the WCW and Monday Night Raw. I like it. I like both of them. And it was torture turning back and forth. You watching Raw, the commercial comes on. You turn the, you, you got to turn the other channel to see if WCW's on. Sometime, both stations will be on fucking commercial. That's fucked. That's even worse. It's like, damn. They got to pick and choose. Let me see. Shall, shall I hit the Raw come on or should I rate to uh, Nitro come on? What the fuck? It's ridiculous. Now, if you like me that's saying fuck WWE, I watch an AEW. You ain't, I mean, you, it doesn't affect you. It doesn't affect us. But what if but what if you like WWE and AEW? You know what I'm saying? That's some fucked up shit. Fuck. You gotta you forced to choose. <laughs> it's either the highway or the other highway, you know. Yeah, I have no fucking idea what's in that fucking box, man. I mean, the cage, the box. I don't know. I know he was, like, talking to it in the fucking city, like, talking to it and shit. So, some people say it could be living. I don't, that's the most ridiculous fucking notion that I ever fucking heard was Liv Morgan could be in that motherfucker. And, so, and no surprise, she's missing. 
No fucking surprise. Because people was mad when she got split from the Riot Squad on Monday Night Raw. They took her from Riot Squad and they put her on SmackDown. She wrestled a few matches and dis a fucking paired. And then you you don't I don't hear anything from um uh uh, uh Ruby Riot and the Viking chick. I don't hear anything from those two either. It's like when the Riot Squad was split, it was like fuck it. They were they were doomed, they were doomed to fucking be gone. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I, I basically have no idea what's in that fucking crate. I mean, that fucking crate. <laughs> that fucking cage. I have no fucking idea. I don't. I really don't. I mean, I was trying to think what could be in that motherfucker. Because I had a lot of time to think about it. Because it, not many videos are really talking about it, though. It's like one is some, some wrestling reporting channel I never heard of. Based in the UK. And then you have Wrestling Days, this high motherfucker from the UK. Holy shit, you think you think he, he high 24-7? Oh, this is fantastic! Oh, this is so fantastic! <laughs> Look at Bray Wyatt! Oh my god! Yeah, I used to fucking watch him back when I got into wrestling back in 2018 before I realized that it was fucking shitty. I used to watch him. Dude is why he's like a fucking kid in the candy store. I'm happy. I'm I'm happy that he actually likes WWE. I am happy. I don't think he's fucking kidding. He, he you know what I'm saying he actually fucking loves it, and I'm happy for him. You know I don't want to knock the guy. You know what I'm saying? I mean I fuck with him. And say yeah, what the fuck is he smoking? We like this show that fucking much. What the fuck ain't that great, motherfucker? It ain't even good most of the time. You know, but hey, it's subjective. The dude loves it. He records himself reacting to the fucking shows. That's wrestling days for you. So this ain't my this ain't me fucking knocking the guy. You know, if you want if you subscribe to him, cool. You like WWE? Better. <laughs> Shit. Cause I can't imagine somebody being subscribed to him that don't like WWE unless they try unless they just subscribe to make fun of his ass. Or they leave comments. You are a fucking dumbass. You piece of shit. Oh, by the way, I, I'm subscribed. Or you may not be subscribed and still fuck with him. Wrestling days, you still like this bullshit? AEW is where is that, you fucker? You know, sin button. You know. Like, leave that man alone, man. Let him enjoy his WWE. Jesus Christ. He probably didn't watch fucking AEW. Like, what the fuck do I know? I don't watch him anyway. Not anymore in wrestling days. He's just too... Oh, my God. This is fantastic. Oh, oh my... Who's coming? Oh, my God. Don't you know? Let me go back and get my tea. I would, but I would get the tea, but I'm just so excited. <laughs> Man, that guy is fucking up. I mean, I left the comment to Wrestling Days. He actually fucking responded. He don't respond to comments, really. He responded to me. I said, dude, I really meant this. I wasn't fucking with him. I really meant this. I said, dude. I can tell that you ain't bullshit with your website. You really actually love the WWE. And I've never seen somebody so excited for this. Wow. You know. But when, but keep in mind, when I left that comment, I was actually watching WWE too. You know. This is before I ran to channels like Joe Cronin and JD from New York. You know, this is before I ran those channels and 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 and, and Solid Monster. I mean, I was watching Solid Monster a little bit, but then when I started to fucking become disgruntled with the fucking company and shit, I was like, "Fuck this shit, man!" And I stopped watching Wrestling Days because, for one, I wasn't watching this because I was watching because back then I discovered JD from New York and I, and I was watching Joe Cronin and I was watching Solid Monster. I was watching other shit to the point where I was barely watching Wrestling Days anymore because I wasn't as excited as he was regarding the WWE anymore. So we really had nothing in common. So that's probably which that's pretty much why I unsubscribe from him. Not because I hate the guy. I'm, I'm glad he's happy. Hell, I I fucking envy that shit. I wish I could be happy about WWE. Oh shit! Seth Rollins is back. Yeah, burn it down, baby. I wish I was like a kid in a fucking candy store. Shit, I, I bet you I felt like that. I bet you any kind of money, I felt like that when I was watching the AEW Dark episode earlier. I was happy in the motherfucker. I was like, oh shit, that's fucking awesome. You know.
Oh, speaking of AEW, the women's division, somebody said the women's division is like, that they're, they're, they're not as good, you know, it's like, meh, you know, like M-E-H, what's that word, meh, that's what they said. I have to, I gotta agree with them. I wish I can disagree, but I can't, because if I do, I'd be doing myself a disservice, and you guys as well, I'd be lying. They do need to brush up on the women's division, man. Because it's kind of, not only is it slow, but it's kind of like when they attack it, they're afraid to hit each other. It's like watching WWE. They're afraid to hit each other. And then when they when when they when they when they drop on each other, it, it comes off as like they it's like the body is a fucking cotton instead of wood. You know what I'm saying? You don't hear no bumps. They're not really taking no fucking bumps and shit. I mean, it's like night and day because when you turn on the NXT match with Shanna Baszler versus, let's say, let's say Shanna Baszler versus um, Bianca Belair, for example, in NXT, okay? You watch that match, you in for a good ass fucking show. Because Shayna Baszler is among the, f the few female towns in NXT I actually fucking like. She's fucking brutal, man. Shayna Baszler is brutal as hell. That woman is very... I, I believe that Shanna Baszler is the only female... I mean, I see a lot of badass women in wrestling. Don't get me wrong. But Shanna Baszler is in the class of Rome because she's really fucking intimidating. And I'm a man. When she comes out, you know some shit finna go down. Because if I was a female, I'd be, I'd be like, she don't fucking lose her cooling. I pull a punch. Because keep in mind, Shanna Baszler came from real fucking fighting. She was an MMA fighter. Then she had to transition and become a wrestler. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, she, you like, like, fuck, man. Yeah, Shanna, she's intimidating. And, and I like the fact that she doesn't look cute. And she's not attractive. I like that. She's a fighter. She's not trying to fucking get your dick hard. She's trying to fucking rip it off. <laughs> that's what Shanna Baszler's trying to do. And that's fucking awesome. But yes, yeah, so you put Shanna Baszler versus Bianca Belair, all that long ass fucking ponytail. Jesus Christ. Did she ever use that as a weapon? I think so. But anyways, it's a good ass match. They they take bumps. They it's rough. But you turn on in a, in AEW, it's like okay. I mean, they did a couple of. It was some good spots though in the match that I saw. It was a couple of good spots, of good fucking moves that I saw. I made go whoa, wow, you know. But that was like rare, you know. It was like few and far between because most of the match was like dancing around the ring and shit. Weak ass attacks. Plant letting you know this is fake. We ain't trying to hurt each other. Turn on XT, it's like and they sell that shit. Yeah, they gotta up their win. They gotta up their game in the women's division though. But it's it's not bad though. It's not, I wouldn't say it's fucking awful to watch a women's tag match or a women's match in, in AEW. I'm not gonna say it's awful, but it could be much better. So it's like, it's like shit. Even the, even the other match that I saw, um, uh, Sean Spears versus uh, Michael Michael Kawazawa. I can't pronounce his last. I, I know it's like Michael Kawazawa. I'm calling him Kawazawa for the name of this video. He's a dude. He's that fucking Jap wrestler with the fucking thong and shit. And towards the end of the match, he's used it as a fucking weapon. I first saw him in one of AEW special pay-per-views before they came out with Dynamite. That's what I first saw. I was like, his name is Michael Kowazawa or some shit. Yeah, that motherfucker's crazy, man. He, he puts body oil on his body and shit. You got to release him and shit. <laughs> he's a weird-ass fucking wrestler, man. Very weird. Kind of disturbing, but not to the point where I want to fucking throw. I was like, damn, this motherfucker's unique. And he attacks you with his fucking thong, man. He takes his thong out of the middle of the ring and he attacks you with that motherfucker. I'm like, damn, this, this motherfucker's out of this world. I like him, though, oddly enough, but it's like, damn. Why do I gotta watch his matches, though? You know? It's like ambivalence. You know, I, I, I'm repulsed by him at the same time. I want to see more of him, you know. That's how I can explain it with this guy. Yeah, so, so yeah, but he's not that, I'm glad he's not that average, uh, coming from Japan wrestler 
badass doing high flying maneuvers and shit. That's that's too cliche. At least this guy's a fucking gimmick that's different. You know what I'm saying? And his name is Michael. His first name is Michael. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. It's funny as hell when they say his name. I, it tickles me a little bit. Michael Kawazawa, you know. <laughs> I think it's Kawazawa. If not, sue me. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Brennan, um, thank you for the request. I didn't want to fucking do it because I, I, I just got through talking about fucking Raw and Smackdown a little bit in my last video. I got through talking about that. You know, shit, I gotta talk about it again and shit. What the fuck, man? But, 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 but the bottom line is this. I really don't give a shit what's in that fucking cage. <laughs> I really don't, to, to be honest with you. I mean, but, but the, the since the Abigail theory, I know they're not gonna do, so fuck it. You know, that's the only thing that I guess I could say this in there. You know, somebody else said it before me. I, I had no fuck. I was reading what everybody else was saying. And I'm with that. Since the Abigail should be in that motherfucker, she should materialize or do the possession angle, like I said before. I should write for that fucking company. Jesus Christ! Give me a pen and paper, goddammit. it! I used to write in fucking school. I wrote in fucking junior high and high school. Hire me, you piece of shits, because you guys ain't doing a goddamn thing, and your stories fucking suck. And this evasion angle, that shit ain't gonna fucking last, sir, with your high and mighty ass. You old fucking bastard. Shit. Fuck. They got over 30 fucking writers, man. But you know what they're writing for. <laughs> yeah. Shake it up. Fuck. He's the only fucking audience. I keep telling y'all that shit, man. Jesus Christ. But yeah, um, this is it for me, man. Fucking 22 minutes. Again. I thought it was going to be like an 11 minute video or something. Fuck. This is why, <laughs> this is why Crobozone's signing out. Peace and love.